Birmingham, so we had a little bit of a drive this morning, but it's not too bad, it's quite local to be fair. And yeah, we are off to Ibiza. We've just ordered breakfast, haven't we, Mitchell? What have we got? Just a traditional. Two traditionals. And what have you had? A Coke? Diet Pepsi. Update Never let a man order the breakfast. Can you just update us with what happened? I didn't order it. <laughs> We're literally been sitting here for 15 minutes. It's a good job we're not like in a huge rush. And we've not even had our drinks come out or anything, which is a bit weird. Mitch just had a look and he didn't put the order through. <laughs> that was me, I'd be, you'd be shouting at me right now. Wouldn't you? Would you? Oh, well. <laughs> I've got you a veggie breakfast as well. <laughs> no, it's not vegetarian on. <laughs> Okay, breakfast has finally arrived. Mitchell was stressing a little bit. So we've got to quickly eat this now because we're in a bit of a rush. Enjoy! Swings around about so And this is what I don't like about transfer, you should always wait in. Like we could literally be at the hotel now. Could it work? Yeah, but you know, it's package on you know. It's <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we shall see you at the hotel. So we have finally got our room. And do you know what guys, I'm actually so impressed. Considering we only paid £500 each, sorry that it's so echoey by the way, we paid £500 each for a week, all inclusive, this is our room. So you come in, you've got a full length mirror here, and then you've got like a dressing area here, which is really nice, big mirror, sink, loads of storage. Bathroom in there, which is obviously just a bath, toilet, and like a B day thing. And then we've got the bed, sofa, 
little desk area and then we've got a really nice balcony and it is pool view I honestly don't think like the family Japan you can moan about that can you babe yeah. I mean some people must get like a really bad like room to room moan about but it's modern it's very clean weather wise it's a little bit cloudy today but it's still really warm despite the clouds and yeah hopefully it will get better soon so anyway I'm gonna go scrub up and just freshen up and everything and I'll check in with you after Okay, I'm just on the way out, I just thought I'd show you a quick outfit of the day. I'm actually going to change my heels because we're going to Ibiza town, so these are not really that appropriate, but they're from Pretty Little Thing, and they're so stunning, guys. Um, so yeah, this is the outfit. It's actually from Bershka, I've never ever ordered. This is my first time ordering from there. Love, literally love. This is like a maxi skirt. If it's all on the website still, I will link it. But just such a simple outfit, and I've teamed it with this bag from Pretty Little Thing. Like I say, simple heels. Love it. But I'm going to change the flats now because, yeah, I want to be comfy. But I just thought I'd show you a quick outfit of the day. Well, outfit of the night. Um, so, we're going to head into Ibiza Town tonight. It's our first day, so we didn't really know what to do. It's quite, what's the time, babe? It's still quite early, isn't it? Six o'clock. It's very early for Ibiza. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head into my beef's town, just have a little meet around there, have a few cocktails, have some nice food. Probably get an early night. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Full outfits. Hopefully the bus turns up. Mm. We don't really know, but yeah. Okay, so we're finally in a safe place to vlog. We have just been to Olivia's in Ibiza town. What do you think, babe? Good. I just wish the steak was cooked a little bit more. Yeah, the thing is, like, so basically we both order steak. I think the thing is when you order steak, it's known how to ask for it cooked. So we both asked for, is it medium rare? Medium rare. To be fair, I loved mine, but Mitchell would have preferred his a bit more done, wouldn't you? Yeah, 100%. But it was so nice. I didn't think it was really nice. It was good. Chips were... Chips were amazing. Oh, 10, 10. Anyway, so we're in a beef town. We're looking at the castle right now. The view is so picturesque. Definitely, if you stay anywhere around Ibiza town, you need to come and visit here. So we're in Plain and Bossa, which was four euros on the bus to come here. Apparently, it would have been 15 euro one way in a taxi. Um, but yeah, it's only four euros each to come here. So I'm going to show you the view. Guys, look at this view. How amazing is this? Apparently, that's the castle. I don't know if you can go and like view that or pay to go in that, but that's the castle just there. And then this is like Ibiza town. It's like typical Spanish cobbled streets, just so beautiful. So many nice little bars, restaurant. Really, really recommend. And yeah. Okay, so night number two. I haven't actually done any vlogging today. I've been a bit of a bad, bad, bad vlogger. Um, but do you know what? It's merely because today is just like our first day here. We just wanted to kind of chill by the pool. Just we didn't really have a POA for today, did we? So we've just been kind of mooching and stuff. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to relax and not really just think about work and picking up the camera all the time. I know it's like vlogging and I'm on holiday and stuff, but yeah, I just wanted a bit of a chilled one. Um, but anyway, I am all ready for tonight. I'm finally wearing out this little number, which is from Zara. I bought this back in the summer, but obviously never had a chance to wear it. Um, I've gone for a hair up as well, because I always like to just change around my hair so I was on holiday. And I've actually done eyeshadow on my eyes for like the first time in forever which i don't know how i feel about that but anyway um bag is from pretty little thing it was molly may's collection i feel like this sold out so quick so i'm not sure if you can get it and then shoes are zara too um but yeah anyway we are gonna head sorry the light's probably really rubbish because i'm just moving around um, so yeah we're gonna just head to just like the pool bar where the all-inclusive drinks are so we're gonna have a couple of drinks before we go out and then yeah i mean we're all inclusive but me and mitchell are just big foodies and we absolutely love just eating at restaurants i feel like it's nice to be all inclusive because you've got everything included in the day you've got your breakfast which is just easy to get up to lunch if you want if you like you're around the pool area and stuff um but I don't know, dinner, I always like to get out of the hotel. It's okay if your hotel has like a la carte restaurants and stuff. I believe there is one here, but we asked, didn't we, earlier? I don't really think she knew much about it. Um, 
Is it short? Is that what she said? Apparently. So, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna show up. I'm gonna show you my full outfit in the mirror and then I'm gonna go out. Okay, outfit of the day in the mirror. Just gives you a full look. Oh, I've also got an anklet on. This is again a pretty little thing. Love a little anklet on holiday. And then, yeah, I just slicked my hair back, put it in a plow. There you go. So, we have just got some nachos. These look unreal. Me and Mitchell absolutely love nachos. How are they? So good. So nice. Good. <laughs> okay, so Mitchell has gone for jerk, chicken, rice, and pineapple. And I've gone for pad thai, which has got chicken and prawns in it. It looks absolutely amazing. And I think the sun is about set now, isn't it? Mm. So nice. Anyway, let's eat. What are you thinking? It's tough. It's very tough. <laughs> we are currently on sunbed. Sunbed? Sunbed debate. We don't know where to put our sun. We don't know where to put I can't even speak. It's too early, guys. We don't know where to put our towels, basically. Um, it's not that busy, so it's really good. You can just come down and just more or less choose where you want to sit. So. It's blue skies this morning, guys. It started raining yesterday. Um, and it was so cloudy in the afternoon. Which was a bit rubbish, wasn't it? Yeah. But this, this, this is the thing. Yesterday, I swear it was like this yeah. in the morning, and then all of a sudden, about one o'clock, like, all the clouds came. Anyway, we're gonna go and put our towels down, grab some breakfast, and then, yeah, we shall see where the day takes us. Hopefully it's not too windy now. Um, I've tried to record down there, but it was so windy. But anyway, me and Mitchell have decided today to take a little walk from, so we were basically staying at the other end of Plain and Bossa, and we just thought we'd walk to the old town. I think someone on Instagram said that you could do it. So yeah, we're kind of um, off-roading a bit now, and it's getting a bit rocky, there's not much beach, but hopefully we can make it right round to there. Um, but it's nice, it's not too hot, bit of a breeze. So yeah, then we're just gonna have a little mood around Old Town in the day. Quick outfit thing, I'm wearing a white fox bag from PLT. Oh, anyway, I'm gonna put the camera down because I don't know how windy this is gonna be. So after numerous supermarkets, Mitchell has finally found his holiday ice cream. What's it called? Maxi Bon Classic. Top tier. So, can you describe to me what this tastes like? Like, what, what's so good about this? It just looks like a chocolate ice cream. One side sandwich, the other one's ice cream. It's absolutely best of both worlds. Okay. So, I'm going to sample a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I want to try. I didn't want a whole one because I don't like it. Can you show us what it looks like? It looks like a choc ice. Mm. I'm going out. On the other side. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um. Jeff. It's nice. I can't see what you was putting that, that down for. Okay, so we are like away from walking on the front now. Um, we've decided to walk like inland. We don't have a clue where we are. Do you have any ideas? I feel like we can see the castle, but at the moment I genuinely feel like I'm walking around a maze. All the streets around here are just so like twisty, turny. <laughs> um, and it's just so hilly, isn't it? You don't know whether to go up or down. It's a weird one, I just want sangria. <laughs> Mitchell was like, where the hell have you brought me? Oh look, Casa Leo. There's a tunnel in Leo. Currently exploring the little back streets and I'll be for Old Town. These are so cute. I feel like it should remind you of like Greece side as well. Not that I've ever been Greece. <laughs> yeah, it just looks cute. Like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different 
Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I. Okay, so me and Mitchell are sampling McDonald's in Spain Because as you guys know Every different place you go to abroad The McDonald's is always different So you've gone for they're like wedges, aren't they? Bacon and cheese on. I've gone for these shaky chips. I've seen it on Instagram. Apparently it's supposed to be unreal, this on there. So we'll see what that's like. And then, food-wise, I've gone for a grand... That's what I've got for? Ooh. That looks decent. And then you've gone for... Chicken one, haven't you? Mmm. Good morning, everyone. So... Finally picking up the vlog and I'm vlogging. Me and Mitchell have had another, I wouldn't say dramatic, but I feel like with us two, nothing is ever really that straightforward. So we got the bus this morning right from outside the hotel into Ibiza town. We was then trying to figure like if you could get the bus right into like next to the McDonald's because before that, um, like the other day we got off, I don't know, a few streets away, which to be fair, it wasn't that bad. It was like a five minute walk right into the port. Um, but we ended up staying on the bus then just being like oh my god where are we panicking and then just getting up and walking 20 minutes back into the port so that was the first thing of the day and then we saw like a little restaurant yesterday that sold tickets for the aqua bus that was it the aqua bus one wasn't it um to formentera because i think it's slightly cheaper well it's a lot cheaper than what we've just paid um uh, anyway went to go there this morning short so we just didn't really have any way of communicating with anyone did we is that the person there now <laughs> So we could have just waited and then got on that one. Mitchell's a bit annoyed, aren't you? Because we've got to pay more. So anyway, the point is, we've walked around here, found this boat, um, and this is, is it 46 euro each? Yeah, 46. 46, whereas that one was? 30. 30. But the thing is, like, we could be walking around for ages. We didn't know if we were going to find anyone for the aqua bus because we've not even seen an aqua bus anywhere. So in the end, we was like, what do we do? Do we just get on this one now and go? So here we are. We're going to Formentera today because so many of you said it's really nice for a little day trip. So we're on. Something we can do now is that. Just got to get on with it. It's, it. it's only like twelve pound more. Just got to get on with it. <laughs> I wasn't well, so I just thought I just want to get there. I don't want to miss it. And um, because I know what would happen, we'd be like, all oh, right, we'll have a look for the aqua bus one. Never find it, and then it'd just be a waste of a day because we wouldn't even go there. But yeah, I'll keep you updated and show you the views been feeling trapped down on the floor i don't know what for feels like i'm gonna lose silence takes a hold i can't let it go Chain okay so we are arriving in form and um i actually feel okay do you no seasickiness no i'm not sounding my hair's a bit windswept uh -huh. though um, looks so nice. Let me flip. Who knows? But I won't let the stormy seas fill me in open water. Let me have my peace and leave me till tomorrow. Wind into myself, away from things I let go, floating on the waves. We go bottoms up, we go all the way. When you're feeling down, push the pain. Good evening everyone, so uh, we've been a little bit MIA today, what have we been up to? <laughs> what are you doing? We've been up to nothing, up to nothing basically. Um, I feel like actually I was just looking over my vlogging footage from yesterday when we went to Formentella. Um, I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> we, I didn't actually vlog much either yesterday and it was so nice but do you know what it was? It was because we was on the moped all day, I couldn't really get my camera out. I didn't want to get it out, I didn't want to lose it, I didn't want to break it. So yeah, I didn't really get too much footage and then today I feel like we've just been exploring and doing so much stuff so it was just time for a bit of a chill day at the pool doing not a lot so yeah that's all we've really been doing this morning and then it's like is it five o'clock now did you say babe five five o'clock five o'clock so it's very early Catching five o'clock um, bus here so yeah we thought we would get the bus tonight down to 
I'm testing you here because I don't know what it is. Figuret figure figuretti. Figuretti, something like that. It's just past played in Bosso. I think it still isn't played in Bosso, it's just like the next beach along. But when we was walking there yesterday, there seemed to be so many more restaurants there, like on the beachfront. So yeah, and we also saw a Chinese that we might is that where we're gonna go yeah, tonight? Yeah, Chinese. Um so yeah, we thought we'd get the bus. So there's basically a bus right outside of our hotel. And um, it goes to Avisa, um, Avisa. A town. It's only two euros each, so it's really good. But yeah, we just thought we'd jump on that, get off at the Figaretti, go for some food, and yeah, just have a nice night, dinner, cocktails. And then to be fair, we always get in quite early-ish anyway, don't we? We're not, we're not really like party poopers or anything, are we? No. Not really out. Getting old, isn't we? <laughs> um, let me show you a quick outfit of the day. I have actually stuck myself in. Hopefully, this stays in. Um, but yeah, it's just a little black dress, long sleeve from White Fox. I'm absolutely loving White Fox. And then, heels are Zara, bag is Zara. And I've actually like crimped my hair. I don't, well, it's not crimped, is it? That old school i used the waiver by bondi boost i think it is um and yeah quite like it it's a bit different for me have you got some change for the bus one let's count it first <laughs> so yeah anyway that's the little update of the day um and yeah i guess i'll take you along on the evening now and show you the food show you what we get up to arriba arriba arriba, arriba. 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 what does arriba mean i don't know <laughs> i think it's up isn't it i don't know arriba arriba Okay, so bad vlogger alert. We didn't actually vlog, well, I say we, I didn't actually vlog when we went to the first destination. So we are now in, where is this? Digger? Digger Mentara? Figurita or something. Um, so yeah, we came here quite early, just have a couple of drinks, five euro cocktails, which it actually weren't five euros, is it? A little bit more. <laughs> you, I think that was yours. Yeah, I know. You couldn't, you couldn't understand what you were saying. But anyway, you had a Acriol. Acriol spritz. Um, and I had two mojitos. But they were about five euro. It was only like a little extra. Um, and we had our eye on this Chinese restaurant, which was literally like two doors down. So it worked out quite perfect. Cocktails first, food here, and now cocktails after. We are ready to order. It's so nice here. Let me show you the view, guys. Okay, update, update the guys on what you just ordered. I'm not sure. <laughs> we had, we had set a set menu. menu. Set menu with a litre of sangria. How much was that? 36, 36 wasn't it? Yeah, cheap. Cheap as chips. Some chili salt and chips. But it's, I think they call it chili, no, it's salt and pepper chips. That's what salt they call chips it. Salt and chips with paprika. Yeah, sounds delicious though. Um, what was the issue? What was I going to say the issue was? Oh wait, there was no issue. Oh no, yeah, I was just gonna say that like 36 is so cheap, like past meals. We've been paying like 70 to 80 a night, haven't we? Um, I feel like it's cheaper around here. So if you do come to play in Bossa, definitely get the, I was gonna say the boat. <laughs> the, the bus is literally two euros each. Just come here, it's so much cheaper for food and drinks and it's really nice. Lovely view, isn't it? Lovely, Lovely view. Artists. And I feel like there's more on the front here. I feel like if you go play in Bossa, you're literally on the street. Whereas here is a lot more. Six or seven bars there. Isn't it? Yeah, to sit on the front and just have food and drinks. So it's really nice. Do you agree, Mr. Donnelly? I agree, Mr. Miss <laughs> I think in Mitchell's drink they have put something because he seems very drunkio, don't you? Not drunkio? Well, how do you feel? Just like a better El Drinkio. I think you had to. I know. That's not like you. Like You're normally someone that drinks like eight drinks and is like not phased by it. But I feel like it's because with the Apriol, they do put Prosecco in that and Prosecco is strong. I don't like Prosecco either. <laughs> I don't know why you're drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, we're going to love you and leave you and just enjoy our evening for a little bit. But we just thought we'd check in. So, ciao for now. Ciao for now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mains, no, not mains, starters is out. This is Chinese salad, spring, spring rolls. rolls. Oh, 
Look how nice this restaurant looks behind Michel. You are now Spanish, Michel. Cerveza. <laughs> Mitchell's learnt loads of Spanish. We've been teaching him. I say we, I. You've been teaching yourself. Give us your best lines. Cerveza, si, bonjour. Hola. <laughs> bonjour was not Spanish. <laughs> Is it? That's it. So you know, so you know, cerveza, si, hola, beer, yes, hello. Anything else? So how would you ask for a beer then? Hola, cerveza, si. Hello, beer, yes. For what, please? What's please? Pour. Pour? What, yeah. Carry on the rest, pour. Favor. Favor. Yeah, go on then. Cerveza. Cerveza. Favor. Favor. <laughs> what about Uno Cerveza? Uno Cerveza. Favor. Favor. Por favor. Then say gracias. Gracias. You know that one. Gracias, amigo. Yeah. Amigo. Piss off. Okay. Um, are we eating there tomorrow? Yeah. Pretty view. I hope that view actually looks sensational. So, Chinese is done. Done. Finito. Ten now, ten. we are at the bar that we started in and having more cocktails. Everyone's looking at it, it's really weird. It's not even in focus. Where is now? I want a pudding, but they don't do pudding here. That makes me sad. That doesn't make me sad. So I'm gonna search pudding on the way home. I feel like I've not had one pudding yet. But first, la 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 la. Chinese was ten ten as well. Really good food. Did you highly recommend? Massively. What was actually your favourite dish? The duck. Mm. The duck. The duck was sensational. The duck. The spring rolls were good. And the chips. And the chicken and the. What's <laughs> the base everything? <laughs> Okay, anyway, we're gonna wait for our cocktails, then we are gonna track down dessert for me, then we are gonna track down the bus. Track down the bus and go home. Bye bye. Okay, so I don't know where we left off last night with the vlog. I'm pretty sure the last time I vlogged was maybe at the Chinese restaurant. Oh my goodness, how nice was that Chinese last night, Mitchell? Unbelievable. It was so good. So definitely recommend go in there if you ever find yourself in Ibiza, played in Bossa area. It was so cheap as well. I think the whole bill came to, is it 40? 40 euro. 40 euro. Um, and that was for two. Where are we going? I feel like we've got to cut across the um, fields. <laughs> More about that in a second. But yeah, so we had two mains, uh, a side of noodles, a side of rice, um, for starters, we had two spring rolls each, and this kind of like Chinese salad, which was so nice. Um, and then we also had like a side of chips and a whole, I think it was a litre of sangria. But anyway, it was 40 euros, so it was really cheap. The only downside to last night was we got the bus there from Played in Bustler, which was two euro each because it is just, I would say it's like a 50 minute walk if you was to walk from the end of Played in Bustler, we are to there. So we got the bus, but then we can never find the bus on the way back because over here, I feel like the bus stop is never matching on the other side but anyway on to this morning we have decided to go what looks like off-road trekking we're going to a beach well we're trying to get to a beach called playa is it selena no. is that what it's called I'm not too sure what the beach is called selena Cel oh. Cel i don't know anyway we're trying to get to this oh. beach we're supposed to be on his track oh there is a track we're basically trying to get to fucking farmers field. <laughs> We're basically trying to get to um airplane. We're literally on the airport. We are basically trying to get to a beach today and it's like ten minute away in a taxi. But we thought rather than get a taxi, let's just walk. It's only like an hour of I think it's on the sat now for an hour of thirty, so it's not too far and it's still like the morning so it's not hot hot yet. But yeah, currently this is where we are walking. But that guy was on a track, wasn't he? So we need to get to that. It's all part of exploring, guys. It's all part of the fun. Right, I'm gonna put this down because my arm's aching. Okay, walk update. How long have we got left, Mitchell? 15 minutes, apparently. You are the navigator. Um, we've now come to this kind of like roped walkway section. So we're actually off the road now. 
But the only thing about this is it's so hard on your feet to walk, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah. I don't think you can just go off road, can you? Anyway, carrying on. Um, hopefully we're not too far from our destination now. Um, but it's a really nice walk, this is actually. Apart from the road bit, I didn't really like the road bit. I feel like when you're on the road bit, it's not really a lot to see, is that? Well, it is. It's still really pretty. Yeah. But it's just like a straight road. I was saying to Mitchell, I much prefer when you're walking like this and it's like bends. So you can't see like the massive road ahead of you. <laughs> Do you know what I mean though, babe? Yeah. You I'd just me? rather drive. Yeah. Well, you would. Okay, so we are finally at our destination. But to be honest with you, we are just stupid sometimes. We basically come here, we didn't realise that everything is just so cash. Me and Mitchell are just card people, we don't ever really have cash. Like we have a little bit of cash on us, but just not a lot. But it's like sunbed, cash. If you want to drink from anyone, cash. There is the restaurants, but then the restaurants are literally like 30 euro for a cocktail, which is just ridiculous. And if I'm coming somewhere like this, I want to be on a sunbed, I want a umbrella, I want to be able to have like service and drinks and food and we can do that but we can't get a sunbed because we've not the got reviews cash. Aren't, the reviews aren't very good on the restaurants either though. No, that Besso Beach is supposed to be nice. Like, that was on a list that someone recommended me to go to yeah. but and you can't even see the prices on the bloody menu on the online. I'm, I'm just the money. We've literally got 10 euro we need to get back because if we want to walk back it's like one hour 40 isn't it? We just brought bus fare. <laughs> I'm knackered. I'm, just, I'm so dehydrated. And yeah, I'm a bit annoyed to be honest with you. I feel like I'm a bit of a waste. But anyway, I'm going to hook it. It out for a bit, doesn't it? I'm hot and flustered. I'm hungry and I'm thirsty. Okay guys, so after my little moan on the beach, I'm just so hot, like I think there's nothing worse than when you've been walking for hour 40 in the heat, it's so warm and then you get somewhere and you're like, crap what are we doing now, we've not got any cash. Um, and like the place that we were sitting outside of as well was so expensive, wasn't it? Like a cocktail, cocktail, 30 euro. 30 euro, yeah. Whereas we just walked down and there's another place and this cocktail was only 30? 30, which is like much better, you don't mind paying it. Like 30 euro for a cocktail, it's like 20 quid, ain't it? 28 quid. And you've just had a beer. We just ordered some chips and some bread. We feel a little bit more settled now, don't we? We do. I just need a wee. Um, but yeah, I'll show you the view. Thank you. We've got chips, and that's like a spicy sauce, wow. isn't it? Is it nice? Then we've got some bread with oil on and tomatoes. Mm -mm -mm. Looks delicious, hon. And then a lovely view. Evening guys, so we are ready to go out now. It is six o'clock, is it six o'clock? Six o'clock? Six o'clock. Okay, we need to get a scoot on. Um, just thought I'd quickly show you my outfit. This is from Pretty Little Thing. It's quite hard to show you in this mirror, but it's like brown, ruched, quite like a light fabric, little top that does up. And I've actually just chopped my hair up. To be fair, it doesn't look great. Um, but I didn't want to wash it again tonight. So I've basically done a plait, and then I like, put it in a bun, uh, this was crimped, kind of like, how do you say crimped? Waved from last night. So yeah, I just kind of like chucked it up. Back from Pretty Little Thing, shoes from Zara, and we are heading out to an Italian tonight. It's actually the one next door to where we was eating at the Chinese last night. It looked really nice. So yeah, vamos, let's go. Let's go again. So we decided to just move our uh, table book in just to eight, didn't we? So we booked it for seven, our oh, Italian gosh. restaurant. But we're both not really that hungry, are we? No. So we thought we'd come for cocktails. Fucking hell, have you Oh my god, that is strong. Um, it's really good, like we've already said, it's really good about it, isn't it? It's mm. all five euro cocktail. Whereas if you stay in Pain and Buster, it's like 10, isn't it? Yeah, it's overpriced, isn't it? So, and also, I feel like the view's better here. It's like you're literally on the beach run, it's so pretty. So yeah, this is us. For how many we're we gonna have here? One, two? Maybe two. And then we are gonna go just in the corner, just down from the Chinese to the Italian restaurant tonight. Delicious. 
Okay, we are now on the move again after our little cocktail night and we're off to this little cute Italian place. How nice it look? Yeah, bon appetit. Okay, so we've got our mushrooms. Is it mushrooms and cheese? It looks like, yeah. <laughs> Just sharing because, you know, we're tight. <laughs> nice? Oh, man. <laughs> Is oh. it nice? Oh, man. Okay guys, so, oh my god, it's really sunny here, so I'm going to have to put my sunglasses on, um, but it is our last day. How are you feeling about our last day? Upset. So, I've decided to bring us to a little beach club on the front, it's right next to our hotel, it's called Nasu, Nasu, Nasu Beach, beach Club. club. Um, I noticed that they do sushi on the menu now. I feel like sushi is always quite overpriced wherever you go. It's always a bit more expensive, isn't it, to mm. have like a sushi meal. These rolls are about 24 each, which is not too bad. About 20 pound, isn't it? Mm. But when we go out, they're like 15, 16. Yeah. So um, yeah, I just said, Do you know what? Let's go for some sushi for lunch because I am craving sushi. I normally have it like every single week. Let me just put these on because I feel like I'm really squinting. So yeah, we've just come here. It's got a nice little table. Mojito. Cerveza. Beer. Um, now I just feel like I'm like looking idiot with them on. Um, and yeah, we're just having some chilled out vibes. And then we're going to get back to the room, get ready early, and then head into Ibiza Town tonight. Have a little mooch about, do some souvenir shopping. Yeah. You looking for some special souvenirs today? I just don't want to go home. <laughs> um, so yeah, outfit today, I've just put on another White Fox little set. These are really useful. To be fair, this one's quite thicker than the other one. Okay, sushi has arrived and it looks amazing, guys. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Lovely. Okay, so it is our last night of the holiday. How are you feeling about that, Mitchell? Very upset, don't want to talk <laughs> about it. Um, we're both wearing white tonight, ready for the wedding. Huh? <laughs> Personal joke. <laughs> Me and Mitchell ended up in the entertainment area last night, didn't we? We thought the entertainment area was on, because I think that is what's open in the summer, isn't it? Yeah. And when we came back from our meal, it was all like lively out there. It was like, oh, there's some entertainment on tonight. Walked in, and if anyone sees my Instagram, you'd have saw that when we were sitting at the sunbed, this like big party of people just, just came from nowhere and were sitting with us and playing music. There must be about 50 of them, hey? Probably more. More, maybe like 60. Whoa! Uh oh. Yeah, there must have been about six. There must be about 60 people that are obviously all related or all family kind of thing that have come to our hotel. And what we think is, is like they must have either hired that entertainment area out or just been put there to keep away from the rest of the hotel. I don't even know. But we walked in there. And I looked around and I was like, Mitchell, I, I think it's that group from earlier. We basically just gate crashed a party. So yeah, that was quite funny last night. Um, but yeah, anyway, final night, we're heading into Ibiza Town again. It's just so nice there. There's loads of restaurants, there's a choice. Not too expensive. <sighs> I feel out of breath. I'm ready for a mojito. Mojito! We've had such a nice day as well, haven't we, at the beach bar. Yeah, it's been nice. Sushi. She spoiled me. My favourite one was the like the uh, battered like the battered prawn. I can't remember it. It was like battered prawn with oh my god, I'm flashing red. Guys, this could be our last vlogging moment. I'm actually flashing low battery. So I might I'm actually So upset. No guys, you know what? I will carry on on an iPhone. So I'm so upset. <laughs> <laughs> You're so sarcastic. Hmm. Anyway. Quick outfit of the day, pretty little thing. As always, guys, I'm gonna take over on my iPhone now, so adios, this is the last time on my Canon. Bye-bye, ciao. Say ciao. Ciao. So, I mean, I'm just showing you the after. It's already been demolished. We are just at a really cute place in Aviva Town, and we just had some bread, alioli, which is the best, if you don't know, get to know, it's just the best thing that's come out of Spain, I swear. And we've had a litre of sangria. Living the best life, aren't we? Just chewing a lolly. <laughs> yeah. So nice. What's this place called, did you say? It's like a little square. And um, the woman even came out and gave me a blanket, which is really cute. It's called Doubt. Dance Villa. Doubt Villa, neighbourhood. 
like it's just next to the pub it's really nice it's just like a couple of nice streets next to each other with those little bars tapas places we're currently eyeing up a tapas place back there but you're not sure are you there's no one there basically there's no one there but we are super early like it's half six if you're like in spain like spanish people it's like in their quarter they don't come out to like 10 o'clock to eat so we could be very early not could be i think we are we just had that little bit of break so i was a bit hungry anyway ciao for now okay so i apologize as the lighting's really bad in here but just want to update you with where we are tonight we are in a very like typical spanish tapas bar just show you behind like it doesn't look much inside does it it just looks very typical spanish it's really cute it's kind of like off-road away from like all the hustle and bustle in ibiza town we walked in mitchell was like yeah i can have a table just for two mate <laughs> He didn't have a clue. So I was like, dos, mesa, por favor. No, I said mesa, dos, por favor, like table two, please. Kind of understood. We got a bite, so we have got a table two now. Um, but yeah, they don't really speak great English, which is understandable, it's Spanish. What you want in the summer? Yeah, like you want a typical Spanish base. So hopefully, with it being Spanish, it's going to be good food. What do you think, hon? I hope it's good. It's my pick. It's your recommendation. <laughs> <laughs> it does look nice. I think, like, with these like, tapas places, you've got to come off road, you've got to come like typical Spanish. You can't just be on the main hustle and bustle. I agree. Thought we were getting tapas, basically, got everything on a piece of bread. <laughs> Do you have anything to say about the situation? I apologise. <laughs> I don't know if I've shown you guys, but everything came on bread. I'm really confused. I thought it was something like tapas. It's <laughs> <laughs> so it is our last day and we're just waiting outside the hotel now just to go home how are you feeling get upset you know i actually don't mind going home i was just saying this like when we get home it's my favorite time of the year we've got halloween ahead we can still go and do some more pumpkin picking mm. we've got bonfire night christmas so i'm actually not too like I've, it's been such a nice holiday but it's my favourite time of the year that I'm going home to, so I'm actually quite. I'm really excited to see my cats as well. I've missed them so much, and I've not even seen it, like many cats no, around you've here. You've not even spoke about your cats, have you? No, <laughs> I miss them. So yeah. Anyway, just thought I would kind of sign off the vlog, to be honest with you, because I feel like I never do. Oh my god, so fast, late. Five days. Well, it's ten days, isn't it? But you paid to get a test to lease on day five and as long as you're negative which we're negative now anyway we obviously you've done a test to fly back so yeah like, like subscribe and push the notification so you know when she uh, uploads a video <laughs> <laughs> that's quite good for you how do you know that i've seen it okay right i'm going to sign off guys i hope you've enjoyed this like for vlog i mean i don't know what it's going to be like hopefully Sh hopefully shit. it's all right um yeah, I'll see you in my next holiday video in 2022 for my 30th birthday when Mitchell takes me away. Butlin's 2022. <laughs> Ciao!